Hi guys, I'm Pilkoff and welcome back to dun dun dun, Oblivion. We're gonna fast I'm, I fast travel a lot in this game guys, so we'll get used to it. We're gonna try, fast travel to Wayne and Priory to uh, do a bit more of the main storyline and hand the Amulet Kings over to Joffrey. As soon as we get to Joffrey, we'll be fine. Wayne on Pyre. I, I, I really think, like, I'm gonna start going a lot more of this series, guys, because, like, I really do enjoy this game. And it's, it's all about when my Xbox can take it, because my Xbox not, can't always, like, uh, run this game. I'm Brother Joffrey, what do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the Amulet. Let me see. Give Joffrey the Amulet. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close, shut the jaws, of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the lords of oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the danger of oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Maybe Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. St. Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires of the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguard, the Blade. One night Uriel called me into his private chamber. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby. But I knew it was his son. From time to time he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim's throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Hey, Joffrey's chest. Yes! I'm gonna get rid of some of this. looking a lot better boys.
Oh, not that. Hmm. What to do now? Huh? Let's... I'm gonna head into Coral and do some, maybe some stuff in Coral. And then maybe next episode, that's where I'll do Kvatch. And then after Kvatch, I will do the Fighter's Guild. That's, yeah, that's what I'll probably do. Then after the Fighter's Guild, I'll probably do the Dark Brotherhood. DBI. It looks nice at least, right? Look, look how the kind of dressing looks. I'm Bitnell, the curse bringer, captain of the Coral Guard. Coral. There are a lot of fine looking women in Coral. Rumors. I think Rena Bruyant may actually love dogs more than her husband. <sighs> Farewell. Farewell. Fairly well. I know there's a quest in here which we can do with this. It gets us children, you You haven't seen my sons, have you? That one. They, my sons. Who is? Ilkin Crozier is a nice place, but that talisman seems rather stuck up to me. Sons? Yes, Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. Creatures. For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm, not far from the coral. They're coming from someplace in the great forest. I don't know where, but Rattles may know more by now. My boys will take up the fight, even if the guards won't. It doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls, it still affects us all. They expect me to go with them, but I, I fear my old age will not be worried about one's promise. Yes. I'll help. Somehow, I knew you'd do the right thing. I'm supposed to meet them at Wayne and Priory. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. I... I need a drink to calm my nerves. Please, excuse me. I hope you're paying, right? I don't know if a quest here. Really. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand apologies, but... Yeah, he's a little... Sorry, guys, I just... That's pointless. Just go and find my brother and push him home. I'll go find the possible way I think it's his brother, right? And I'm actually going to put the killing field as quest laid on Perry. I think it should run to the hospital. Neither brother dies. I'm afraid I have no time. Creatures. They began rape. It's our duty to protect our own, even if others will do nothing. Father taught us that much, and we won't back down from the fight. The guards claim there's no evidence of them, so they won't lift a finger. That's why we have to be the ones to deal with them. How is it He's not coming with us. I think I understand, and it is better that he remains safe. I wonder why he has asked you to take his place. You would join us, though you have no personal stake in this fight? An honorable deed. I gladly accept your help then. Awesome. There's no point in waiting here any longer. Follow me. I 
Jojo home. I'm going to wait till I see them see them show up. It's jump. The farm is near. Stay close. Mm. Wrong, because your brother's not showing up. Hurry up. Shit, the army. Stay focused. Watch your backs and be careful. Andrews, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Defend yourselves. Goblins have been defeated, I shall return to Quarrel and tell Valis Odile his sons are safe. Ease. Coral South Gate. Let's hear it. Pretty easy, actually. It's just no one hit kills with the great the claymore. And you brought my sons with you. How wonderful! Uh, creatures. Foul fit. Sons. My boys are safe. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for sticking with them and helping a foolish old man. Please, take this. I won't be needing it any longer. My battles are over. I plan to live out my days on the farm in peace. Quiet. Sure, and uh, we're gonna do another quest, guys. Uh, maybe quest. yeah, we can fit, we'll, we can fit another quest in. Why not? We are going to go and do separate, which is in the shade of the which I know that much. That's what shade of You're up. Reynold Germain. Reynold Germain. No. Don't know anyone. He's staying over at the Newlands Lodge. But you also might find him walking around town. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Bye. Thanks, sir. Newlands Lodge. Let's have the games. What jam today? We're going to get to the It's very pretty simple. Today.
Hello. What? What? Uh, girl with your name. Sorry, yeah. Is there something I can do for you? Reynold Germain. He, he's alive? I was told that my mother and brother never survived. This is amazing. I'll need to go see him at once. You'll have to excuse me. I'd better leave right away. But please, come and see us in Coral. It would be wonderful for us both to be able to thank you for helping us find each other again. I've got 50 gold for that. This reunion will be the happiest day of my life. going to wait in wait two hours. There he is. Not two hours, please. Do I have to go in there as well? Oh yeah, it's the grey man. I can't believe I've been reunited with my brother. I can't stop the talk now. I... Use that. The Dream Brothers have been reunited after they speak and should speak to Gilbert, who seems to be more level ahead of the two. I can't thank you, and we have much to discuss, but if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Weatherly? Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Well, we'll help you retain Weatherly. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, but north of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. Actually, wait, by the way. I wish my father had given me a better description of its location. But for some reason, all he told me was south of Coral, north of Fort Kamala. Rumors. I heard that Hill the Tall knows a lot about alteration, how to cast shield. And actually, we're going to cut it here, guys. We will do that next time before the main storyline actually took me to Lovely. So, um, like, remember to like the video, uh, comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel, support me, and also share it with your friends so I help support the channel as well. Thanks for watching guys, you guys enjoyed this episode, see ya.